Hey guys, welcome to today's video. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to use the trackpad and more importantly, how to use gestures on your trackpad. Now, not everyone will have a trackpad. If you have a MacBook, you'll definitely have one built into your Mac, as I'm sure you're aware. But for those of you that have a desktop Mac, you may not have one. However, you can purchase one from the Apple Store. Here it is on their website. And I definitely recommend you buy uh, one of these because it's basically a great way to interface with your Mac. And in my opinion, much easier to use than a mouse. So the trackpad is more than just a trackpad that you click and use as a mouse alternative you're able to actually do some amazing things on the trackpad. Maybe that's why they called it the magic trackpad. There are a ton of different uh, gestures you can do on the trackpad that allow you to interact with your Mac. Now, rather than me just describing to you exactly what each gesture does, Apple provides a really nice help feature on your Mac to show you exactly what each gesture does. So to view these, go to your Finder, System Preferences, and then Trackpad. Now, once we've opened up the Trackpad Preferences, you'll notice there are several different options. If you hover over each of the gestures, you get a nice little video popping up on the right-hand side showing you exactly what you need to do on the trackpad to activate this feature. So the one I have selected at the moment is just a tap to click. What this is, is if you want to click or select a file, all you need to do is just tap the trackpad once. Now I don't actually mean click the trackpad, I just mean tap it. And that will act as a single click. The next gesture is the secondary click which is basically the same as the first click, except this time you just use two fingers, as shown in the video. Now, on this one, you'll notice you can actually change what you want the secondary click to be. At the moment, I have click or tap with two fingers. However, you can change it to click on the bottom right corner or the bottom left corner of your trackpad. So if I change to click to bottom right corner, it will change the video to show you exactly what you need to do. I'll go back and select the two fingers. The next gesture I want to show you is the three finger lookup. And this basically allows you to view a dictionary definition of a word by just hovering your mouse cursor over that word and tapping on your trackpad with three fingers. Finally, you're able to use the three finger drag. And as you can see in this video, all you need to do is put the cursor over a photo or find a window or any kind of window you have opened and use the three finger gesture to drag that window around. Now, if you want to activate or deactivate any of these features, all you need to do is just tick or untick the little tick box next to the description for each gesture. So you see here, I actually don't have the three finger drag activated, but I have the tap to click, secondary click and look up activated. The next gestures I want to show you are on the zoom and scroll tab. So the first one basically allows you to change the direction of scrolling, whether you want it to be the natural or I suppose unnatural way of scrolling. What this means is, if you have it unticked, if you scroll down with your mouse, that the page will scroll down as well. The unnatural movement would be the opposite of that. And basically, if you scroll down, the page goes up. And if you scroll up, the page goes down. The next gesture I want to show you is the zoom in and zoom out. And this basically works the same as it does on an iPad or iPhone, where you're able to use the two finger pinch to either zoom in or zoom out on a picture. Next, there is the smart zoom feature, which is basically a double tap with two fingers 
and that zooms in on a web page and basically allows you to zoom in on pictures and text on a web page. Finally, you have the rotate, which basically is similar to the two finger pinch, but rather than pinching with your two fingers, you just rotate those fingers on the trackpad. Finally, if we go to the more gestures tab, you can see there are many other gestures you can learn. The top one is a particularly useful one, and that gives you the ability to swipe left and right with two fingers on a web page. And this basically acts as the forward and back buttons on your web page. The next feature allows you to swipe between your full screen apps. This is another extremely useful feature and basically you are just using the three fingers on the trackpad and swiping left to right. So if you like to use multiple screens or multiple full screen apps or, or multiple uh, spaces as they're called on Macs, um, this is a great way to swipe between all of those spaces or full screen apps. The next one is the notification center. You'll notice this one is slightly different as it requires you to start your fingers on the actual metal of your MacBook and then swipe in from right to left. Another cool feature is the ability to access the mission control feature and all you need to do is use the four finger swipe up and that will activate mission control. The next feature activates the launch pad and basically this is similar to the pinch except this pinch needs three fingers and your thumb as you can see in the video and finally we have the spreading out or the opposite of what we've just seen where you basically spread out or unpinch with your three fingers and thumb so guys i suggest you go to your trackpad preferences and look through all of these different gestures watch the video and understand exactly how to do each gesture and what each gesture does. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.